Tamor McIntyre ever so slightly rolled his head to the side as a judge announced his 55 year prison sentence for the murder of Ethan Walker. The decision came two years after TK rapped in his song, The Race, that there was a case he couldn't beat. I think it was part of a career move that went wrong. The song was certified platinum for the 19 year old, but prosecutors argued it was also an example of the teen's character. They urged the jury to consider it when deciding on a sentence for the 2016 home invasion and robbery where Walker was killed. And afterward, Walker's parents said every lyric had their son's blood on it. Every time we uh, look up, it seems like we're seeing news about the song, seeing praise about the song, and seeing you literally dancing on Ethan's grave. But you've gotten enough attention. McIntyre's defense team, which helped him avoid a life sentence, argued that though the song was offensive, it was art. They were pushing for nothing longer than a 20-year deal other teens received in the case, but the jury saw it differently. You're still here. You're still here. My son is gone. He's a box of ashes sitting in my living room. He's gone. You have one line from, uh, from the hard song that's been going super, super viral where you just say school was very hard. Do you remember anything about that line when you wrote it in particular? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wrote that. Wait. I think, when did I write that? I think that was like... That was like three days before I got locked up when I recorded it. Oh, right, right before you got locked up. Yeah, because they had posted me on the news and shit. And like, hey, bro, we got to go to the studio. So I went to the studio in New Jersey and recorded it. So you had this whole little period where you were like sort of aware that they were looking for you and you were still recording and stuff. And that was one of the last things that you sort of got out before before you went in. Yeah. Yo, yo, it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in. And first and foremost, I do want to send condolences to everybody who lost somebody in this situation. They are still grieving from losing somebody they love. Most definitely. Condolences and prayers to them. Now, I'm going to have a link in the description from CNN where you see Tay K get his time in the 55 years and also the interview he did with No Jumper prior to him getting sentenced to that time when he was still trying to get a bond and everything. Now, the question is 55 years and would this happen if he was a white teenager and everything? And I'm going to read what he actually tweeted out, the message he sent in just a second. I'm pretty sure everybody is familiar with the race. Well, he rapped about the crime, taunting, cutting the ankle monitor off, and everything of that nature. And that is the reason, part of the reason why he got the 55 years, most definitely. Supposedly, he's not the person that actually pulled the trigger, but they put him as the mastermind and the leader of this operation. Why? Because you got the notoriety, you got the money for it. We just going to keep it all the way thousand, thousand. You got the clout for it. You got the fame for it. Now, something that Tay-K said, he spoke about if he was a white teenager, they would have said, oh, he's still a kid and everything like that. That is very true, Tay-K. Very highly possible. We've seen that before. That is something that they do in this country that I disagree with. Let's keep it fair. But at the end of the day, taking a life or participating in the murder is that. No matter if, hey, they get away with it or not. If you dive in that water, you got to be willing to take the consequences and accept what come with it. And he has, but he just thinking out loud now, sending messages. But I'm here to tell everybody, hey, bro, this ain't for us. Take K ain't supposed to be back there. Take K supposed to be out here sitting on millions right now. Take K supposed to be out here taking care of his family. You had the talent. You might have not went viral for not doing this, but you would eventually got there. You was doing your stuff. But we caught up in these moments as young niggas because we don't get second chances, my nigga. If you a teenager, they going to teach you like an adult. And what Tay K is saying in certain situations is correct. But this is what he said. I really just need one chance at adulthood. I bet if I was a little white kid, they wouldn't have gave me no 55 years for a crime. 
I was alleged to play the most significant role in when I was 16. They would have rightfully argued that my mind wasn't fully developed and gave me rehabilitation and second first chance in child and adulthood. One of my co-defendants was a white girl who was 16 just like me. They didn't certify her as an adult, but they certified me and Pimp as adults. Pimp got 30, I got 55. She ended up getting 10 years on probation without no deal. That girl at home right now. Tay K, you are correct, 100% in that spectrum of it. They did file you as an adult, but that's what they gonna do when you tied to a murder. They ain't gonna look at you as no little white kid. Now, if this would have been a white kid, they might have said, you know what? We ain't gonna charge him as an adult. We gonna treat him like a teenager. He's correct. But at the end of the day, when somebody life being taken, bro, you can't look to understand and even point that out to them. Cause it's looking at it like, bro, you in, this is why what you did in that courtroom. I mean, what you did on that video. They gonna tear your character down and say, hey, nah, he an adult, he ain't no kid. He ain't no kid. The legal system ain't for brothers anyways. But I'm gonna tell y'all this, quit trying to get the clout for the murders. Quit trying to be so demonic. This for y'all that's in the free world. This for y'all. Hey, quit trying to be demonic. Quit trying to get clout for your murders. Quit talking about killing niggas and putting it in songs. Or doing the race and running from the laws and rapping about crimes that you actually do. Keeping it all the way a thousand, man. Tell me what y'all think. One of the hottest things to come out of Arlington, and this way yet. Now, we got more shit coming, more videos. Take a part of the process, man. We'll see how everything play out. Stay on your pivot.